Well, as the Cal Poly wrestling program looks to continue their undefeated Pac-12 slate this weekend against Stanford and Oregon State to round out their regular season, a look back at their historic rise over the past few years reveals just how dominant this group has become under head coach John Saritas. Seven years ago, John Saritas took over as the head coach of the Cal Poly Mustangs wrestling program. And while currently they are one of the top mid-major programs in the country, it certainly wasn't that way to start out. I think not a lot of people know how challenging it was. For example, my second and third year, we didn't win a single match. We didn't win a single duel. Like you've heard of teams going undefeated, we were defeated. Even two-time All-American Bernie Truax had to trust in Coach Saritas' plan after the shaky start. Because like when I first got here, we were not a great program, you know, it was really rough and I even questioned, I was like, man, am I at the right spot? And then like just seeing like coaches, uh, like what he wanted to do and stick into his plan, regardless of like what our outcome was at that time. That plan was built on three pillars over a five year span that has now enhanced further. Those pillars, student athlete development, recruiting and fundraising have boosted the stock of a program that sent half their roster to the NCAA championships last year with six of those wrestlers nationally ranked. So there's obviously the nerves and a little bit of pressure that comes with that, but there's also the excitement and like just being thankful for the opportunity to compete against the best guys because that's what makes the sport fun is when we're competing against the best guys, it's not like that, that's when I enjoy the sport the most. Recruiting has played a big factor, especially in the past two seasons with current assistant coach Evan Wick joining the program last year in his final year of eligibility after four years at Wisconsin. He transferred to Cal Poly to earn a total of four All-American honors in his time. With most of the guys on the team, it seems like you know, the beginning of our year this year wasn't so great, and now we're having guys stand out and do phenomenal things, you know, outperform themselves, and, and that's something that, that drew me here and something that keeps me here. Wick not the only piece of the puzzle that also saw value in Cal Poly's approach to making a winning environment fun as All-American and five-year University of Oklahoma wrestler Don Dimas transferred in the offseason for his final year. To enter the portal, I got a call and Sirius called me up and told me pretty much before I even told him what I wanted, he, he was like, yeah, this is what our program has to offer. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then um, I heard about how good the program was and how they're on the rise and I just I wanted to be part of that. Whether it's homegrown pieces or already well established Division One wrestlers looking for a new home, the love for wrestling from both the players and coaching staff sets them apart. Uh, but it's so pretty neat. Like it's it's nice being at the championships and you know it's sold out crowd of sixteen thousand and you know we got multiple guys in the semifinals and uh, but that's not the reason why we do it. So seeing like from when we were the worst to now where we're at like top twenty five program, it's been really cool.